Okay, YouTube, welcome back. Yeah, there's a guy uh, doing some uh, tree trimming around the corner there, so that's what that noise is. Today, we're going to go with the spud gun again. Remember this little doohickey? Yes, uh, this is how I got. If you can see that up there with the tail, it's what I use for an antenna on my ham radio. I'm going to go and try to hit that tree with it. Right there on the table, we'll get into it, of uh, what I use to get that wire up there. Now, my line's going from that tree there to that tree there two lots away. Uh, now, last time I couldn't shoot this damn thing with out uh, without two hands because I had to hold the camera. We'll get to this. We will get to this. Okay, we're going to use this little doohickey. Right there, that tree there is what we're going for. I'll bet you we'll end up farther than that though. This way I can hit this thing with two hands. Make sure fishing reel thing is pushed in. Alright, make sure you got it charged. Give me one second. Alright. Sorry about that. We forgot to put air in it like a dummy. Alright. I'm gonna go for it. I didn't put too much air in it, but I didn't put too much air in it. I didn't want to go in across to into the neighbor's yard again. That right there is what I got on the end of this. It's a little piece of PVC with some sand in it and a little eye hook on it. Now, once I get it up in the tree, I'll show you this stuff over here. Like I said, that's my antenna. Okay, once I get it up in the tree, this is the rope here I use. If we can see that, this might be too thick. To bring in with the fishing line. This small stuff like this works the bill sometimes and also wire. Now we get a ladder line lock, put the wire up at I've got it 62 feet each end on that G5RV and we bring it down with this TV cable see we got a ballon on it because we're going from ladder line to coax now you don't need a big tank like I got you know for an air pump you can actually use a regular air pump with one of these now note of warning these are not a toy uh, these can actually hurt somebody now I like I told you last time I ordered the kit and it came with a on-off, um, like a water valve thing. This is what we got on it right here. We um, epoxied this end right here. And where that bleeder valve is, is where we got our trigger. Uh, and this and that. So, you know, it's not bullshit. These little... Uh, Spud guns can can get a line way up into a tree. It's not full of bullshit. It's not full of holes. We do it all the time. I prefer to use a closed end um, fishing reel on mine. Um, just works better with me. Um, got a friend that he's got a big, big one, um, and he uses uh, 
an open line deal. And the only thing is uh, he's got to bring it in by hand. Yeah, I've done a little bit of yard work. Uh, my grass is starting to come back in. But that's how we pretty much do it. Um, yeah, let me bring you over to the piece. I forgot that. Excuse me. All right, this is how I make the PVC pellets. Uh, I think I'll, I think that's, uh, uh, what's that? Quarter inch, three quarter inch, something like that. Put the caps on it. Drill a hole through the, you know, put some sand in it. PVC, um, glue it up. Um, drill a hole in one of, one of the caps and put a hook in it. There you go. Well, like I said, these are not a toy. By no means. You know, if you you can get all the parts to build one of these at at a Home Depot, or you can buy the the kit, but you're still going to need the sprinkler valve. Uh, what is that? A Rainbird 19, I believe that is, for it. But you know, I had a guy on YouTube call me bullshit. You can't build a spud gun out of PVC pipe. Well, I call bullshit to him. Yes, you can. And I've had this thing for three years and put many of uh, antennas up, not just my own. Yeah, my phone's flickering on and off because of the sunlight here. But we're getting our mangoes starting to grow in, if you can see that. No, starting to get the mangoes in. The grapefruit tree looks like it may grow back. Maple tree is starting to grow back real nicely. That mango tree is starting to grow nicely. So that's my yard. I've got a small yard. Very small yard. But I was lucky that the people two doors down let me use their oak tree. If not, I would have had to put a tower up. But this is a way to do it without putting a tower up. Uh, and mine tunes from um, 80 meters on into 6 meters. 6 meters is a little touchy, but it does tune into the 6 meter band. All right, well, that's my ham radio video here. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment you like her, give her a likes up, and I'll see you in the next video of Broadcastia.